Hi, my name's Erica and I'll be walking you through step by step of exactly what we'll be doing and my friends behind me will demonstrate the process as we go along. Now the first things first, we all need to put on our very stylish hairnets. Even if you don't have any hair, come on, wear one anyways, they're pretty awesome. Once your hairnet's on, wash your hands with the hand sanitizer that's supplied. Next up are the gloves. Everyone who's in contact with open food must wear gloves. Now that we're all suited up, let's get to work. Now let's start out at the funnel. This is where we will fill each bag with ingredients to make up the meals. There are four different jobs around the funnel. The first is to add the cheese packet. This person will take a brand new bag, open it up, and place the cheese packet in the bag, and then pass it to the bag holder. Next, the bag holder will take the bag and place it under the funnel. When you do that, be sure to keep a good grip on the top corners of the bag. Macaroni is the next ingredient that goes in. We will add two level scoops, one from each bin. Be sure that this is the last ingredient that goes in the bag. Now the bag holder will then remove the bag from the funnel and place it in the next bin. At the weighing station, we will add or remove macaroni to get the weight within the acceptable range. First, make sure that the scale is turned on and set it to grams and be sure that it's at zero with the basket on it. The weight we're looking for is between 205 and 210 grams. If the weight is under 205, we will add macaroni. If it's over 210, we will take scoops out until we hit that range. Once we're inside that range, the bags are ready to go into the next bin. The heat sealer is next. The dial on the heat sealer should be set to three or less. Before we seal the bag, we wanna get as much air out of that bag as possible. Now look for the seal here portion of the bag and use this as a guide to place it across the sealer. Pull the arm down until the light goes out. Verify that the bag is sealed and then pass it on to the boxing table. Finally, we have the boxing grid. As the bags are placed on the grid, please attach the small expiration date sticker to each bag. Place two completed bags on each of the 18 spots for a total of 36 bags on the grid. Now before we fill the box, attach one large date label to the designated area on the side of the box. Now we're ready to fill that box up. Place 36 flat bags, four to each level, and tape that box shut, and you have just completed 108 meals. Way to go. Hey, thanks so much for following along with me. If any of this went over your head or simply you didn't catch any of the details, simply ask your table captain for any of the information that you missed. And we want you to know that we're truly grateful for your willingness to partner with us to package nutritious meals for hungry families in our community and around the world.